Raise your hands up. Show me how much you love life. Raise both of your hands up. Great. I'm Lawrence Ion, and I'm going to give more color on Vitalia City. I'm going to talk about, about why it's important and how you can create an MVP for your new cities and countries. If you want to live, listen up. Don't look at your phones. This is important. You are all infected now with a terminal disease. It's called aging. I have it too. My father has it too. Unfortunately, he actually got diagnosed with uh, terminal cancer this month. This is life and death. We have to stop fucking around and dream big. We can coordinate to put humans on the moon. We should coordinate to cure aging before this terminal disease kills you or your loved ones. We should exit this uh, regulatory environment that says that is monopolist monopolistic, paternalistic, that tells you what you can and cannot do with your own body, creating this invisible graveyard of people dying before they can get access to life-saving medicine. Just like my father is denied risky treatment, because it's risky, but he's going to die anyway, waiting. But there's an antidote, drugs that target aging. So instead of managing symptoms, keeping people in a poor state of health for longer, we can actually address the root cause, which is aging itself, and prevent these diseases. And because aging is malleable, we've shown that we, with dozens of pharmaceutical interventions that we can slow down or reverse aging in lab animals. So this is possible. And as a founding member of VitaDAO, a network union showing Thousands of members can actually coordinate to deploy millions of dollars into aging research that's early stage, spin out companies, and put assets on the blockchain and collaborate. Um, one of them being ready to go into humans, but we're an online community. You cannot give online drugs. We need, we need real medicine in a real city. We need to, we cannot accept clinical trial timelines. They, they are currently unacceptable. They, they take way too long and way too much money. So we can actually make a warp speed effort, not just for the COVID crisis, but for heart disease, which is a crisis. Alzheimer's is a crisis. Aging itself is a crisis. But starting, and we've, we've started cities before to fix a crisis, like with Los Alamos for the Manhattan Project. But starting new cities and countries is hard. Um, so as an MVP, I like this idea of kind of stepping one order of magnitude uh, further, farther than uh, conferences or co-living spaces in both uh, number of people and duration, and uh, bridging sort of from an online community to a real permanent city with these pop-up cities. So that's why I got involved with Vitalik and building Zuzalo, uh, the first pop-up city in Montenegro. It was life-changing to, to have as so many people, hundreds of people, like-minded people, um, in the same proximity, in, in close proximity. And we had healthy food available, inspired by Brian Johnson. We had, um, we tracked our biomarkers and exercised together, keeping each other accountable and so on. So next up, we go deeper at Vitalia uh, as a, the first, the, the next pop-up city in, um, it's gonna be in the Caribbean island of Roatan as Nicholas shared. And we're going to seed this permanent new city where we're going to experiment with a better regulatory framework to, to make faster uh, progress and um, have it as a sandbox right, to accelerate innovation in, in, in this new way. Maybe the world can learn and incorporate what works. So join us there in, in, in this paradise for uh, escape the winter, if you'd like, um, if you want to live longer. and. Um, you know, the alignment there is to make death optional. 100% crypto economy is available, and you should go to vitalia.city and check it out. And uh, yeah, join or die. Thank you. <laughs>